Staples students from all over the world. Report on the state of Staples soccer. And Klein ripping up the gridiron. All this and so much more. Good, Good morning, morning, Staples. Staples. Good morning, Staples. It's Thursday, October 11th. I'm Brad Payne. And I'm Kieran Simonovic. We have a good show for you today, so sit back and enjoy. But before you do, could we all please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Up first is a report on the school store by Mike Kazi. Let's have a look. Hello, I work at the school store on Friday, period five. I really enjoy it, and this video can tell you all about it and what we sell there. For any of you who do not know about the school store, check it out. We have a lot of candy at the school store here. We have Kit Kats, M&M's, both regular and peanut, and Skittles, and one wild berry, and a lot more. Check it out. Come to the school store. I'll be there for you by on Friday. Thank you. Now back to the host. Good job, Mike, and thanks for the update. Next, we have Brad Payne and his piece on the Westport Cinema Initiative. The Westport Cinema Initiative is trying to bring a small movie theater back into Westport. Here's my interview with Doug Russ and Bobby Jackaloff. Hey Staples, I'm here with Doug Russ and Bobby Jackaloff to talk about the Westport Cinema Initiative. So guys, to start out, can you tell me a little bit about what this initiative is? Uh, well, the Westport Cinema Initiative is a nonprofit organization formed by a lot of uh, concerned uh, Westporters to bring a movie theater back to Westport. Uh, 20 years ago, we had five movie theaters in Westport, and as I'm sure you know, now we have none. So the goal of the Westport Cinema Initiative is to bring a physical movie theater back to Westport, preferably in downtown Westport. Now, how do you two get involved in this? All right, well, I actually got involved. I had just heard about the Cinema Initiative, and I thought it was a really good idea and something that I definitely wanted to be a part of. So just maybe a little over a year ago, I just came and I found out about it and since then I've been an, an increasingly bigger part of it. Has there been one event that you two really enjoyed? Um, so my favorite screening personally was Saving Hubble which was uh, screened I think in July and that movie was about the Hubble telescope, the history of the telescope and how it got out into space and the difference it's made for science and then after that we actually got to use telescopes on the Levitt Pavilion all different types of equipment and look out at the stars after watching the movie, which was really fun and a great time. Do you have any upcoming events? Yeah, actually on Sunday, October 28th at 4 p.m., we're going to be screening Gyro Dreams of Sushi at Town Hall, and that is the story about one of the most famous sushi chefs in all of Japan, and that will be followed by a reception where sushi and other cuisine is served at the Westport Historical Society, and the fee of that will be $30. Thanks a lot, guys. Now remember, Staples, you can look them up online at their website, or you can search them on Facebook. Let's throw it back to the hosts. Well, thanks, Brad. A movie theater downtown would be great. There are a number of students here at Staples who are from countries other than the United States. Adrian Moe used that fact to explore other cultures. Over the next few weeks, they'll be sharing their discussions. Here's their first interview with Jim Zhang from Shanghai. Well, and this is Adrian Belbit. 
and we are doing a project for Good Morning Staples on foreign kids. And as many of you know, there are a variety of kids here at Staples High School, and some of them do not come from America. And we would like to give a big thanks to Ms. Krzyzewska and the World Language Center for letting us interview them. Yeah, because like when I first got here, I noticed that there's a wide variety of foreign kids, and I was really interested in finding out more about them. So this is why we're doing this piece. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, so I'm Jim Zhang from uh, Shanghai in China, and I came to Staples here as a freshman here, and I would like to introduce myself and my foreign culture of China. Okay, so Jim, is your foreign culture anything like life here in Westport? Uh, no, it's pretty different actually. There's a lot of different foods. There's more rice, for example, in our diet. And there's less uh, potatoes, like french fries, and our hamburgers here, we have less of those. Also, there's more people on the streets. And of course, when you have more people, you have more garbage on the streets that people don't pick up. So Westport here is much cleaner than Shanghai and China. Yeah, so despite all those things, what's the thing that you miss or like most about where you're from? Uh, I miss my friends the most. Then second to that, I miss my sports, such as badminton. We don't do much of that here. And some other sports, such as kendo or taekwondo. Okay. What's one thing you're proud of? What is, what is one thing you're proud of about where you're from? Uh, I'm proud of our competitiveness at school. Like everyone wants better grades, so we strive to become better learners and better educated people. And also I miss about China is like the sports there uh, because everybody is trying to become the best at their sport. And here there's less uh, sports that I play, but that's pretty much good here. So it's fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Adrian and Mo would again like to thank Jim and also Frau Kochevko for helping them to arrange the interviews. They will officially welcome another student to Staples soon. Good job, Mo and Adrian. Your piece was very interesting. Let's take a moment and give you a Staples news update. A meeting will take place on Wednesday, October 17th at 6.30 p.m. in the Staples cafeteria. Swimmers, divers, and parents of athletes should attend. Contact Mr. Share for additional information. Also, please remember to complete the annual health history and physical examination forms. Be sure to join the Staples Records football team support and help raise funds for Pink Aid. Come to the Rutgers home game next Friday at 7 p.m. for the third annual Breast Cancer Awareness football game. Game day dress code is pink. Pink Logo Wear merchandise is being sold in the Staples cafeteria during the lunch waves this week and next. Attention juniors, 400 PSAT tickets will be sold in guidance office during lunchtime this week. No tickets will be sold after tomorrow. Bring cash or check made out to Staples High School. Lost valuables, all cell phones, calculators, iPods, glasses, and jewelry found in the building should be turned to Alice Attics in room 1025H. Now we turn to sports. Up first is an announcement from the rugby team and coach Barahona. Morning Staples, uh, rugby meeting today after school for all rugby players and anyone interested in playing rugby, room 189, uh, today at 2.30. If you're not sure what rugby is, here are some clips. Doing a good job pushing this Staples defense back right now. Lost the handle, Staples able to take it away. Epright in the open field, he's able to give it back. This is Jackson Yang, take it down at the 30, he'll give it ahead to Levi. Levi taken down, it's Staples on the offensive possession right now. That was big right there, Epright able to get into the open field. Back to Burke, gives to Moss, Moss to the outside, this is Gottschalk. He will hand it off to the end zone and a try for Staples. How about that? Chris Chu with the try, Staples a 5-3 lead. Hi, I'm Connor. This week, my group and I went to see the boys' soccer game in Trumbull. Here are some of the highlights. Hey, 
Thanks for watching, now back to the hosts. On a much more serious note, one of our TV students, Dylan Dreyfus, was home this past weekend with his college-age brother, Jeremy. Turns out Jeremy is involved in a very important project dealing with sports injuries. We thought that you should know about the video that Jeremy made about Staples football superstar Chris Coyne. Hi, I'm Dylan Dreyfus. I'm in TV production. Recently, I got a chance to interview my brother, Jeremy on an interesting project he recently did that I think you should know about. But you may remember Jeremy from this. This is the party. Sick. Guys, hold the elevator. Guys, I need to go to Spanish. Hey, kid. Shut up. Now that some of you might remember Jeremy, let me show you some of the interview that I recently did with him. How did you become involved in this concussion project? Well, I, I had been hearing so much about what Chris had been going through on the football field, and uh, I didn't really know what to believe and what not to believe. Uh, I witnessed his overwhelming success on the football field uh, during high school and how much he helped the Staples football program. And uh, when I heard that he was going through these serious injuries, I was shocked and uh, I wanted to learn more about it and this film project was a great opportunity to do that. I've, uh, I've been so impressed with uh, his ability to speak out uh, on this issue uh, after he was forced to walk away from the game that he loved and uh, just as he shined on the football field, he's really shined in uh, this part of his life too. So. Uh, Chris has been a, a you know part of my life for a long time, and uh, this that was definitely uh, one of the big motivations that I had to get involved with this. A lot went into the creation of this video, but uh, I think it, you know I was happy with how it turned out. Now that you have some background on the project, here are some clips from the actual video itself. Football taught me a lot of great values that I carry with me in my life today: uh, work ethic, uh, respect, responsibility, all things that came from football, but. Uh, you know, have allowed me to be successful in other aspects of my life. Um, and these are things that, you know, nothing but football could have taught me. You know, playing sports is great for anybody of any age. Football in particular opened so many doors for me. And uh, I just wish that I knew then uh, what I know now about concussions and injuries. And if I did, I'd, you know, still be playing. Part of Chris's new mission is sharing his story on the dangers of playing through concussions with young athletes. Do you guys all know what a concussion is? Yes. I like that response. Okay. Uh, medically speaking, all concussions are, you know, very serious. So even if it feels mild, you should still take care of it right away. Regardless of what happened with concussions, I feel lucky that I'm still 
uh, at school and able to get a good education. And uh, going forward, I, I just got to put the past behind me and make the best of what I can. If you want to see the whole video, this is what you should look up on YouTube. Now let's send it back to the host. Good job, Dylan. What happened to Chris Corn could happen to any athlete in any sport. The important message here is for athletes to be aware of these injuries and to seek help if they get hurt like Chris Coin did not. Well, on to the climb challenge. Brendan had a very good week going 2-1, and one. only the Dolphins held off, the Bengals ruined his perfect week for him. But Mr. Klein is on fire. The second straight perfect week gives him a two-game lead on the season. Let's see what the Professor of Probability has in store for us this week. Klein and Zito here again for the Klein Challenge, week six of the NFL season. Hey, Zitz, let's start off with a little Spanish lesson. Okay. So repeat after me. Senor Klein. Senor Klein. S. S. And Fuego. And Fuego. You know what that means? No. Mr. Klein is on fire. Oh. Woo! Another perfect week. Yeah, yeah, 3 0 yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, my I, second perfect week in a row. I know, I Brendan know, I 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 know, all of this. And you know what? I do have to hand it to you. Picking the Saints, a winless team, as your lock of the week, I don't know what to do. I, 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 has any kid beaten you? Nobody. As I said when we started this, a, a student hasn't beaten me yet. And I don't think it's going to happen. I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out. All right, I'm going to leave that to you, Zeke. Okay. Brendan. I even got Teddy, quarterback of the. Mm. I got to go a different route. What can that be? What can that be? I've tried everything, Lex. You've never let me down. You can do this. We've got to. In fact, the lock of the week. The real lock. It's time, Zito. Research. You're going to do this, yes, right? You're going to be this. the first kid here to beat that guy. I guess the boys can't handle the pressure. It's time for a girl to step up. Yeah! We're here with Lexi Andros, our first female challenger on the Klein Challenge. I guess this is Zito's secret weapon. Lexi, I have to be honest, I'm a little nervous. If I get beat by a girl, there's a lot of people in this building that will not let me live it down. Yeah, Klein, but I mean, at least you'll still have that nice tie. No reason to butter me up now, Lexi. Let's go. What are your picks for week six of the NFL season? All right, Klein. My picks are the Ravens over the Cowboys, um, the Vikings over the Redskins, and the Eagles over the Lions is my lock of the week. I like it, Lexi. I got to be honest, very slim pickings this week with the bye weeks in the NFL. Lexi took a couple games I was interested in, so I'm going to go this route. I'm going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Kansas City Chiefs in a battle of one-win teams. I'm going with the Miami Dolphins over the St. Louis Rams. And my lock of the week, I'm 4-0, looking for a fifth straight, is the Atlanta Falcons over the Oakland Raiders. That's it for week six of the NFL season. Enjoy the games. See ya! Well, that's it for sports, and that's our show for today, Staples. The Period 8 class will be back next Tuesday with their first solo show of the year. Have a great weekend, Staples.